I tell you what, I'm pretty irritated. Do you know why? Somebody stole my Sona art. I'm not just talking about Wish. Remember that video a little bit ago. Do you see that? So before we like address this and create artwork that can hopefully not be copied, I would like to say something. And that thing is that I'm sort of frustrated because, make sure our autofocus is in order, that's traditional. There we go, okay, great. I am frustrated because, okay, the, the last two videos that I've made have been the lowest performing videos I've made in a long time. RIPing the leaf bug and the other one, most recent one was on the trees that we planted because of the book. Like, those are two really important topics, and I mean, the tree one especially is talking about one of the greatest achievements we've had in this channel of essentially planting a forest somewhere, which is fantastic, right? <sighs> Feel a little less frustrated. Let's get that out of frame. Feel a little less frustrated now, but, um, videos aren't performing very well, and not to mention, my Patreon is at, like, an all-time low. Point is, I'm taking in so little money on my Patreon that I am now in the red again. The software I pay to edit, Premiere, costs $60 per month, losing $20 per month. And that doesn't even mention this camera or this camera. <laughs> it's stupid to talk about numbers like that, but you can imagine it does freak me out a little bit. Um, you know, that being said though, I can't be like, donate, donate to my Patreon, please, because I'm sure you've heard about this Hurricane Florence. When, when I'm filming this, it hasn't happened yet, but um, I've heard it's gonna be pretty bad. I would much rather people donate to that. If you donate to a good cause like that, tweet me a receipt or something, I can add you to the Patreon Telegram chat. I don't know, because I, I feel like that's, that's a good thing to do. Anyways, that being said, once this whole hurricane thing is taken care of, though, if you would like to donate to my Patreon, I would really appreciate it because of the reasons I've stated. And also, let's see what you will get. Open curtain two. There's no curtain, so we're just gonna... Whee! What you will get is access to the magical telegram chat. You'll also get to view my videos 24 hours before anybody else gets to see them. And coming soon, you will get a audiobook version of this. And also for some of my Patreon people, I've been signing these and sending them to them for free. So if you wanna snag some sort of deal like that, you know, head on over there. That's not what we're talking about today, is it? I'm sorry, guys, I got distracted again. You know how my anxiety goes to me. Oh, that doesn't make any sense, okay. Zoom in on the donut cat. I was sitting in class the other day and I was thinking money, money, what? I guess I, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. Why did I say that? I was thinking art thievery sucks, okay? You might remember that video I did a little bit ago. It's not necessarily Wish's fault, but somebody stole one of my t-shirt designs. It was drawn by Glitchmutt and they stole it and they threw it up on Wish and it said it had like 25,000 reviews on it. it. I don't know, it was, super scammy and really sketchy because all that money was going to glitch mutt. If anybody did buy that, which I don't think they did, nobody really buys my merch, none of the money would go to the proper person and that sucks. What could you do to make an impossible to copy Sonia? Oh my gosh, guys, it's been such a long day. Sona, an OC. You don't have to be a furry for this to count, right? What, what would you have to do? You could never copy it down, that's a good one. Then nobody will be able to see it and thus nobody will copy it. Another idea which has been in the making for like five months now. Depending on your country, right, you can just submit artwork to be copyrighted. At least in the US, whenever you make something, it's instantaneously copyrighted. What you can do is pay, for me it was around 50 bucks, you pay $50 and you send it to the US government and you say, hey, this was drawn by, for the drawing I submitted, that one, it was drawn by Wolf Prince or Monster Mutt, depending on uh, which uh, alias you want to use there. And um, you say, hey, they drew this for me, I paid for it soon, they're gonna gonna send me this paper that says, hey, you and Glitchmutt own this. You wanna get technical, I believe in the US, if you hire somebody to draw something and you pay them, you are legally entitled to the copyright, but I think that's pretty stupid. If you look in the description on my videos, there's this thing that says this video will go into the public domain in 10 years from whenever it was uploaded. Traditionally, it's like 120 years and that's stupid. 10 years is plenty of time for me to make money off my video and then it goes out into the public and anybody can edit it, anybody can re-upload it and it sort of just transcends 
the world and <laughs> it transcends the world. That makes sense. But the point is, I think the whole idea of like somebody gave you fifteen dollars to draw this, so now it's theirs. I don't. It just seems stupid to me. Maybe that's just the inner like anti-corporation Avery talking or something. I don't know. Like so, when I submitted my profile picture to the government, I said both me and Glitch Mutt can use this. The problem with that is I submitted it. I spent like a lot of money, mind you, to get this thing submitted, and it's like great. We will get back to you anywhere from five months to two years from now. What's more, if I misspelled something on the application or something, or they just are like, mm, we're not so sure about this, what they can do is just deny it. And I spent $50 for nothing. So I, once I get that back, I would like to make a video on that. Once again, the reason I'm doing that, of course, is because when they give you the certificate, you can go to Wish and be like, hey, look, I own this. Okay, have I rambled about this enough? So now we're going to the more DIY method. You know, I can't wait five months. And plus, I would much rather have a more ground-proof method, like, you know, somebody stole some art I commissioned and put it up on the stop sign. That's completely real. Do you see that? Are you sure about that? How am I, sp how am I gonna prevent this? I, I would like it so if you tried to print out a picture of my Sona, it would, the printer would just explode. I don't want that to happen at all. If you wanna print out a picture of my Sona, feel free, you know? I think it's an interesting exploration. Yeah, that's the end of the sentence. You know I have a lot of money knowledge. As you can see from this fake, uh, stack of bills <laughs> that are all blank in the center. If you look at it closely, actually this is fake money so it doesn't have it. If you look at a real bill closely, you will find all these mysterious dots. I have some money from China downstairs and even it has the dots. So it's on all sorts of currency. This is really fascinating actually, you know. 2002, flashback to then, blackberries weren't just a fruit. Seinfeld references were still understood by everyone. This dude put some money in a printer and tried to copy it. Probably not for legal reasons. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Maybe he just wanted to enlarge it so he could draw Bill Murray on it. That's a callback. <laughs> if you've been on the channel for a long time, you'll remember my NPR interview. Ooh. He discovered that when he puts it into the printer, it just wouldn't print. It would cancel. And he was like, what is the deal with this? And he realized all currency above like a couple bucks, like I think the $5 bill has it in the US. Um, the $1 doesn't, but everything above the $1 has those little circles on it and it's in European currency it's in it's in all currencies imaginable it's called a constellation as Wikipedia very very conveniently points out it's the Urion Urion constellation also known as um rings or donuts I'm gonna call them donuts because we have a donut cat in our presence they are used by printers to detect if something's currency and thus not print it. They're trying to make it more difficult to pirate currency. I was thinking, what if we could somehow put this constellation into an OC and then have it not be copyable? I was like, oh, that's a good idea. And then I remembered something, and this goes even deeper. If you've ever used Photoshop, you bring in a scan of currency, at least the more recent versions of Photoshop, it just refuses to work. It gives you this error message. It says you can't edit currency in Photoshop. Initially, it was thought it used those dotty things to recognize that it's currency, but it was discovered that if you cut, <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so dramatic. This is like a mystery though. If you cover up the circles, it still says, hey, this is currency. This is incredibly strange because what this means, well, I, there's this whole article, you can find it online. What they did is they took, they took a picture of some currency and they split it up into a bunch of squares and they put each square into Photoshop and most of them would open except a select few would say, hey, no, this is currency and say, you can't edit this. So there's some sort of secret method Adobe has to detecting that it's currency. It's a conspiracy, totally. <laughs> Well, okay, so this is where this sort of falls apart and it's clear that this video is clickbait because not all editing software has this money protection on it. Online software and GIMP and software like that doesn't, it just straight up is like, sure, I'll edit currency, I don't care. But our goal here, I think, is to make it more difficult for someone. First thing I did is I opened up one of those, uh, some editing software that doesn't mind editing currency. I added a bunch See some tiny, the tiny constellation down here. <laughs> Long story short, oh, it's focusing on the background. Thank you. Ooh, the point is circles, 
they were just too faint. They're not, they don't contrast with the background of that yellow enough to really do anything. I spent a lot of time going through and trying to figure out, you know, what part of the currency will Photoshop say, okay, hey, this is currency. Like online, I saw this picture. It's just like a really cropped in image of some currency. If you open it up in Photoshop, it's fine. But if you crop it out one pixel outward, so there's one more pixel of the bill showing, Photoshop recognizes it. I have no idea what's going on there and it's very confusion. The next best thing, <laughs> I said, what if I just get a screenshot of some bills and uh, and just put the Sona over it. And so I did it with this and it works sometimes, but I went even better and just did this. This works great. So let's say you're an art thief. You have you went up to some artist, some poor unsuspecting artist, okay? And you were like, hey, can you make me something for free? And they said no, because they, have, they need food or something stupid like that. Your next best thing is to just copy somebody's art, okay? So you look up hot, <laughs> hot sonas, don't look that up. You come across this. I like it. Oh, nope, I flipped through all the things. <laughs> Another problem with this, I just realized, is that for some reason you can't spend money on art, but you can spend $60 a month to pay for Photoshop, so. You open up your very expensive editing software and you say, you know what, I'm going to open this up, I'm gonna enlarge it, and I'm gonna like change the eye color slightly so nobody realizes that it's their art. I'm going to open it. Oh, oh no, what has happened? This application does not support the editing of bank no, no, no. Uh, Come on, focus on the thing. I'm trying to do with voice. Hallelujah! We achieved our goal, guys. We've achieved our goal and even better. Oh yes, it does get better. Watch this. Over here, I have, duh, chaos, chaos, okay. Ah! Over here, I have one of the stupid, well, there's a cat there. He looks like he just saw a ghost. Hey buddy, are you okay? Over here we have one of the stupidest printers in all of existence. This thing doesn't print anything. I kept trying to print out, like look at this. Do you see the quality that's in it? There's all these scan lines on it. It's really stupid. He heard me talking about cats. I'm talking about cat people. There's a huge difference. Booty booty booty. He hates me. Look at this extremely dusty printer. Let's say I wanted to print out this really good picture of my Sona, <laughs> of, of somebody's Sona that I've stolen, of course, right. I'm a thief. I forgot. You know, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna set the phone in the printer. I established this printer doesn't print anything properly, so I couldn't print out an image to like scan into it, if that makes any sense. So we're just gonna use my phone instead. It's gonna work. And see, there's all those little dots. Uh, no, you can't see anything because the camera's doesn't like focusing on the, okay. No, but you get, the, there you go. See, all the little dots, plop it up there. Oh, okay, second camera just died and has overheated. Wow, that's incredibly hot. Ah! Everything is falling apart. We say color, we say start. And then we just wait. Are you dead? Hello? <gasps> oh my gosh, do you see that? It canceled and says document error. And that's not just because the printer sucked. It saw that it was there was currency inside the print and just decided to not print it out. So. Is this um, very useful in any manner? No. Is this uh, a good idea in general? Probably not. Yeah, I think I got my point across. Now I gotta go put this camera in the fridge. Hey, before I go here, I wanna give a huge shout out to Hyena Habits. Forever ago, they contacted me and they said they had this partial suit they were selling. They made it and it looked really fantastic and they wanted to um, send me something that I could show in a video to be like, hey, these people make good suits and stuff. You should go check out their listing. What they did is they made me a tail from some scrap fabric. See, look at this thing. It's curly and it looks, it's really nice. It's very soft and the craftsmanship is very impressive. Long story short, the suit they had made sold in like an instant. <laughs> they, but they decided to send this over to me anyways. Um, and they said, you know, I should show it in a video and be like, hey, you know, just to prove that they make good stuff, if that makes sense. I'm gonna be there, the witness. We're gonna take a look at this and see if it's good. Very curly, pink-ish, I like that. Smells of uh, butterfly milk. I give this a cat out of 10. If you're not a cat person, a dog out of 10. This is good, this is really impressive. I'm very impressed. And it's really nice and soft and it's very large. It's sort of strange because um, I have all these 
just a collection of um, suit related stuff that that doesn't really link up with my Sona very much if that makes sense I have this urge to like um, modify my ref sheet or something make it so that's what my tail looks like but um, you know first of all it's not real second of all fur is like hair you can dye it and change it and stuff and like restyle it so I guess you know it it's like Schrodinger's box Schrodinger just ran over somebody as he hopped out of his grave okay also they sent me this which I was very impressed with it. It's very cute, very cute badge, and there's the leaf buck in it. Shout out to them. You can find them on Twitter at Hyena Space Habits. Their Instagram is Leaf Tear Coon, and Hyena Habits on Facebook as well. Follow them to stay up to date on uh, their suit proceedings because maybe you would like something they're making or something. Thanks to them, that was very nice of them. I have this growing collection of just, of course, the fat, fat paws are canon. Then I just have all these extra tails. I'm not sure if. I'm a nerd. Um, I think that's really about it. Is that it? Thanks to my Patreon people. Torch the Fox, I believe, if my memory suits me correctly, upgraded their pledge to $5, which is huge in a time like this where I have, as not, when I'm losing money. <laughs> Ooh, X Maxis has just started pledging. Thanks to them, and uh, thanks to all those other peeps. Now, um, love you guys. Thanks to Koi on Twitter for making a new banner that I thought was really cute. Bye-bye.